is a is is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Don't worry about the height. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boot. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a uh, new device to help you. Yeah, that's right. A new test. Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. Too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. Alright, so, the earthquakes. Kinda did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. something you can use to launch yourself over the door. There has to be another way out. I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some... some... Uh, Aperture Science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Beyond that door is one of the new testing tracks. Totally, completely new. Get through it and head to the first testing sphere. I'll let you know more there. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and installed one where people needed to go through. If you turn the power off, you can easily turn it back on. That switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip by a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility's power grid. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help.
Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again. The new testing track is just through here. <laughs> oh, that, that's meant to happen. Just to test your, uh, reflexes. You know, after your short sleep. Bravo Volta, the... hold on. Fifth testing track, yes, fifth. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I, uh, look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine.
Now, everything about this test is lead line, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. It says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the boxes. We've got a ton back stocked ready for this kind of thing. Thrown at the wall, destroyed, rinse and repeat. Useless little things. Made them in an hour. Toxicity lead didn't get in the air, and, uh, I mean, great job, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. You really are a merit to science, or something like that. J just remember the Nuremberg Olympics. Now see, this test uses the new Aperture Science Innovators Propulsion Gel. It allows you to... no, wait, hold on. This record says they didn't make that until the 70s. Never you mind that. Just uh, solve science. Mel, I don't think you're that stupid that you're going to fall for this anymore. I'll be blunt now. 
I'm not Cave Johnson. This isn't the 1950s. Everyone you knew and loved is dead. And now you're stuck here in Aperture Science, done with the trash. Like me. After everyone left because of that boat. Which I'm sure you already knew, but, uh, whatever. However, I can get us out of here. If you're willing to let a voice in the sky who just told you he was lying the entire time he was talking to you control nearly every movement you make. Is that okay? I, I, I'll just take your silence as a yes. Oh, right, you can't answer me. Uh, uh, just do what I say and you'll be fine, okay? About before, you can get why I said all that, right? I'd rather not have my one chance of escape have a panic attack and die on me after years of being suspended in a faulty relaxation vault. Which could be a real possibility, because as my records show, the old test could cause heart attacks after small exposure to the chemicals. <laughs> and you were both full of them. So, let's all just take a breath and start over. My name's Virgil. I'm a core from up in the Enrichment Center. And before you even think of asking, yes, there is a building above you, and yes, I came from it. I'm not crazy. Don't be too alarmed, though. A lot's changed since you got put on ice. that pipe there that the repulsion gel is leaking on that'll take you to the pumping station jump down and walk on it oh and try not to fall off that goo down there is corrosive and it doesn't like human skin of this room, there should be a turret shooting range at the far side of the room. If you can get through there, you should be able to get to the fourth testing track. That'll take you up to where I am.
That gel should help you get past those turrets. A straight shot to the next testing track. Go to that door down at the very end. You know, the one with the giant wheel on it. Do it again. It'll open this time, I swear. Just give it some elbow grease. Oh, come on, you've got this. One more shot. Well, great. You can fling yourself all over the place and get past some old turrets that are firing live rounds, but you can't get a door open. What kind of Olympian are you? Ugh. All right, let's see what we can do. There's a longer route through a repulsion gel pumping station. Guess you're going to have to go that way. You can get through this pumping station and prepare yourself to get out of Bravo Volta into the Lima Whiskey testing track. That should bring you closer to me and to your own escape from this facility. All right, I know what you're thinking. What on earth is going on here? Well, Aperture's early tests weren't always that successful. We painted subliminal messaging all over the walls in this next test. So if you feel the sudden urge to buy a bunch of Aperture Science merchandise afterwards, we'll count that as a success. I'm sorry for what I said back there. We're in this together. You're my ticket out of the junkyard down here. I'm your ticket to the outside world. I'll do my best to keep the insults at a minimum. Just try harder next time. Um... I kind of have a bit of bad news. I, yeah, yeah, I know. You don't want to hear any more bad news after the security override. I couldn't do. Uh, my records of this sphere are... out of date, to say the least. There should be an exit after the third section of this test. However, I don't know if getting there will be that easy. You got it in you, though. You're my Olympian. Who might not have a beating heart anymore.
Wait a second, I'm, I'm getting some strange voice coming through. I'll patch it through. Scanning Lima Whiskey, 70% complete. No vital signs detected. Initiating flooding procedure. That's coming up from new aperture. What's a... My scans are going nuts. Something's happening. The sphere's unstable. Get out of here. Run! blew the whole toxic goo pump station apart. It's letting flood wars out. We gotta get out of here. It's not safe. Get through the control centers. There's a transition seal leading up to where I am. Hurry, before this whole place floods or comes down. Your life is at stake, and you're going to walk up the stairs with falling rocks everywhere. I get you're an Olympian track runner and all, but what's wrong with you? this room, but you still need... Whoa! No, don't do that! You would break the place down in your head? seconds earlier, you'd have been incinerated. Thank the maker you were, though. <sighs> I need the muscle. opened up wide. Toxic goose rising fast. The sensors maxed out ages ago. Warning lights, woo, going crazy all around. 
This just got a lot more serious. You're at Quality Control Center 95D. Only a bit further and you'll be at the hatch up to me. Hurry. I'll try to slow the goo down a bit. Doors are locked? Ah, uh, back in the day, the wiring was a bit strange sometimes. Try turning some machinery on, see if that also unlocks the doors. Wow, th th that actually worked. Uh, I mean, great! Just the walls. Don't get comfy though. I pulled the plug on some emergency runoff dams, but the goo is still rising. place is massive. Whoever built this place must be a great architect. Up high at the back side of this room is a control panel. It controls the hatch. Try to get there.
records show that at least two people were needed to activate the vault hatch. You're one person. There's a bit of a problem there. I'm sure you can figure something out. Definitely a plus. Oh, great. You're here. I can finally get out of this technological nightmare. If you can get into the offices, I'm saved.